demonstration video for the Sears 10 inch radial or the Craftsman 10 inch radial arm saw. It's a really great shape. You can see all the scales and everything. Everything's very clean. This has a full blade guard on it. These are adjustable. You know, that's, the, that's your paw for ripping. And this is your blade guard back here. Everything's adjustable, obviously. This column here, I'm not sure how high it can go. It looks like it's pretty high right now, but you can, you know, you have to look up in the manual just to see uh, how many inches you got to play with there. Emergency switch, I mean, uh, safety switch. This comes out. A lot of times you'll see these missing in these saws, but this one has it. Scale on this side also. There is an accessory on this side where you can screw on accessories. They got like a little sanding wheel, stuff like that that goes on here. You know, you can change the blades. You can get like dado blades and everything for it. Basically having a radial arm saw is like having a, a table saw and a compound miter saw in one saw. But Sears discontinued them because they'd rather sell you two tools instead of one. Uh, this does have the control out which basically is a servo that you can make your adjustments here that allows you that will gauge how quickly this arm will come back so you can hear the servo right now as I pull it whoops here I'll do that you can hear the servo as I pull it that's the slow adjustment right there okay and B is faster that's the sound of the servo, that's not the sound of the saw blade. And C is the fastest. Can't pull it any faster than it'll allow you to. You can lock the blade into place. Whoops, let me get that out here. You can lock the blade into place anywhere you want and make some cuts. You have to release the axis here. This is the adjustment for the axis. You can do this and swing it around does lock 90 degrees, got to lock it in place, and then you can do rip cutting. That's why the poles are on this side for the rip. Also, you can do miters, and I'll just adjust it back to zero again here, or I'm sorry, 90. Releases here, ties down here. Uh, you can do your adjustments here for, whoops, a little second here. Oh, that's right. Adjustments here. For, locks at 45. I mean, it'll go all the way to 90. I don't know why you would do that on this. Here's the top of the motor on this side. There is a uh, reset button over here. If it ever jams up, probably won't ever do that. It's about two and a half horsepower once it gets going. Um, you have your vacuum here, two inch vacuum, and scales are up here, the arm does swing obviously, so you can swing it to whatever you want to do, up to 60 degrees, either way, got full rotation, okay I think it banged, it banged into something there, anyhow, does lock again at zero degrees, push that forward and it'll lock it, this locks the action from going forward and backwards. This locks the miter. So I mean you can do a lot of compound stuff. Let's say you want to do a compound miter cut. 45 degrees. Whoops. And swing the arm out. You got full flexibility there. Whatever you want to do. Okay, we're gonna do a couple of rips here or a couple of cuts. Lock that in place. Lock that back up there. Whoops. Get this out of the way here. Lock that back up there. Whoops. There we go. Zero. Okay. Lock it down. And do I have that on zero? Okay, now it's on zero. Okay. It sets itself. 
We're going to do a rip here. we got to figure out how to we want it to go. Obviously, we want it to go just below the wood, so I'm going to bring it down here using the handle, telescoping handle, obviously. Just want to have the rip just below where the wood is. This works a little bit better when it's not on a rolling stand. The rolling stand does not come with the saw, and neither does the blade. These are mine, so I'm hanging on these. These blades are a little bit high dollar when you get into these, into these carbide blades like this, but well worth the investment for sure. Okay, so I'm going to let it go here. Whoops, let me do it here. I'm going to let it go back. Okay, blade got out of the way. I think we've got some depth of cut there. Let me go down a little bit more. Hang on one second here. Oh, what you do. Get it out of the wood there. So I'm going to go down a little bit deeper than that. Oh, by the way, it is a laser track, so you can see the laser there. That's very really important. you got to cut through the right of that laser cut. Go a little bit more. Pretty as a picture. And that is the demonstration of the Sears 10 inch radial arm saw.